Hi, I'm Kristen of Caseco Arts, and today we will be doing another cover-up using this 18 by 24 painting. We are continuing on with our abstract and acrylic pour videos that I have been recently doing. Please go and check out my videos that I have been doing in regards to theme paintings, abstract and acrylic pours mixed together. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I would like for you guys to join me and pay attention as we're about to go on another acrylic pouring adventure. So the first thing that we're going to be doing on this canvas, because it is a cover up, we're going to first paint this canvas. Now I'm going in with the same colors that we did inside of this video right here, which is an amazing painting. We're going in with the same colors, except for I'm adding a few more, which is some lighter colors to add in there to add some more contrast. So I am going to start with this unbleached titanium white again. <laughs> and then, our next color this time is going to be light olive green. So of course, like I said, going in with the light colors. Let me go ahead and take that off. And this may come out a little <laughs> weird because um, it is slowly running out. So I'm going to add my light olive green, which that should be absolutely enough. After light aqua green, we're going to go in, I'm sorry, olive green. We're gonna go in with light green permanent. And this one's gonna come out a little bit better. So all greens, and I have a theme that I'm going with you guys. So last time we did corals because um, I added in some blues in there. This time, I wanna go along with this theme right here that we did in this painting, which is our nature wilderness theme. Um, next color is going to be hooker's green hue permanent and then we're going to finish off with phthalo green. So we have the hooker's green permanent and then last but not least phthalo green. Okay, next up, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm just gonna blend these colors. You guys <laughs> can either fast forward through this or I will decide at the end of the video whether or not I want to go ahead and edit this for, for you guys and for, fast forward through it. So let me go ahead and grab my paintbrush. So of course, I'm gonna start at the top covering this canvas. And as I told you guys before, the canvases that I use are pretty old canvases that I've poured on and I'm just pretty much recycling them to use them for a greater purpose <laughs> to make sure that they're used and sold. So I am going to make sure again that my sides are covered. Now this is a pretty large canvas for it to be in 18 by 24. So some parts of this canvas I will not be able to reach. I do have a few of my bristles coming off and sometimes that happens. So I have my unbleached titanium white, then that's going to lead into the olive green. And in between, of course, I'm just going to touch up the sides, making sure they are good and filled. There's no purpose in me um, wiping the brush because these colors are all going to blend. So then next I'm gonna go into my um, light green permanent. So going from the unbleached titanium white into this color. And again, they look separated right now, but it is all going to blend in. Next up, I'm going to go into my Hooker's Green Hue Permanent, which is a darker green color. And then last but not least, the Thalo Green. So almost just like the painting that we did, except for this has a few lighter colors. And 
again, I want to go in with that nature feel. And that is why I'm choosing these beautiful, beautiful green colors. And I'm just touching up the sides. And now that I have all the colors on there, now I can go ahead and begin to blend the colors. So I'm gonna start with the phthalo green, go into my hookers green, go into my light green, and then my olive green, and then my unbleached titanium white. And again, this is a, <laughs> it's a pretty large canvas, so I'm just gonna begin to blend the colors in some more, bring in the really really pretty again have some little stragglers on the paintbrush taking these out and i believe that looks absolutely amazing i want to try to keep as much as that uh, as much of the unbleached titanium white just to get some good separation and blending in there to make sure it all transitions really good. So I'm just touching up my sides right here. And of course, you guys know what comes next. So we wait for this to dry and then we come back in with our color. So again, I'm going with the nature theme. So once this dries, it's really, really pretty. Once this dries, I'm going to add on a, um, a coat of pouring medium so that the colors in the background do not get messed up. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of my colors going along with my nature theme. And I want to pretty, <laughs> pretty much, maybe I'll start lower and I'll come right here and go up right here with all of our nature colors, which again, we will be using this color green um, I have to refill this. This is permanent green that we use on here. And then we also have our phthalo green. We have the bright aqua green. So just all of our greens. And then I'm gonna go back in and add this light green permanent into a squeeze bottle. And then also add the light olive green into a squeeze bottle. And then of course, here we go, I believe this yep this is the light olive green so i don't have to add that into a squeeze bottle and then i'm going to come in with my bronze to give it the woodsy feel and then also my van dyke brown right here and i might add a little bit of the bronze i'm not i said the bronze yeah <laughs> i said the bronze so we have the bronze just making sure i'm not skipping over okay i have this color too which is this needs to be added in there because this is a mixture of different greens, which is the deep green permanent, then chrome oxide green and phthalo green. So once this dries, I will come back with all of these colors, add it on there to get our woodsy wilderness, um, <laughs> our woodsy wilderness vibe on here on the canvas. Okay, now that it is dry, um, it turned out extremely, extremely beautiful. I love the way that this dried. I believe I have it turned upside down. Um, but in all honesty, it does not matter. Um, I like it just the way that it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my green colors and we are going to pour on here to get that forest scenery, the wilderness, the nature, exactly like how I want it to be. So let's go ahead and start. I am going to start with first the light olive green and again I said I was going to start try to start uh, pretty low from the bottom and remember I have to pour my pouring medium right here so that the colors will blow out because when it is on a dry surface the colors does not blow out um, very good so I want to make sure that they do so I am just going to put my colors in just like this and try to get them like this as well. 
And then in between, I will put the pouring medium. So I have my olive green. Now I'm gonna go in with this green color right here. Hopefully I don't run into any issues with these colors. <laughs> and everything just follows suit. Then I am going to go in with my bright aqua green. Just kind of a blue color, but hopefully mixed with this, it doesn't turn out as blue. <laughs> and then I am also going to go in with my phthalo green, which as of recently has been giving me lots of problems coming out of the bottle. So I was gonna try to see if I can um, make sure there's nothing in here that's stopping it from coming out which sometimes, yep, there it goes, I solved the problem. <laughs> okay, so now, yes, very, very, coming out very smooth now. So now I'm going to add the phthalo green on here. And I want more of the green color than anything. Then I'm also gonna go in with my mix of greens that I talked about earlier. And this is a darker green color. I have to go back and refill these bottles up. <laughs> and then I have a little bit of my regular permanent green. Trying to see if I can get as much out of here as possible. And this is the deep permanent green. You guys know I gotta use the colors until they until they, they're done. Okay, so we got that color out. Now I am going to go in with my Van Dyke Brown just to add those branches in there. and then go in. I believe that I want to add the bronze, but I think I'm gonna add the bronze and possibly the copper too, because I know this is, yeah, this is the copper. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's get that out. Okay, so some of that copper in there. And then, let's see, this is my Van Dyke Brown. Nope. That is my bronze. Yep, and it actually says bronze, so. Let's go ahead and add that in there. And I wanna make sure that I have enough of my green. So I do have this emerald green right here that I'm going to add in. Hopefully it does not take over. And then go back in a little bit with my phthalo green. And again, I might not actually need this much, but I wanna make sure that I have enough just in case. So now what I am going to do, <laughs> the same thing that we did on this painting, I cannot go without adding my gold. And I don't wanna to add too much of it, cause as you guys know, if you add too much, it will take over. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna fill the canvas with my pouring medium, get a really thin layer in between. That way, when I'm done blowing this out, it will dry properly and it will save the background color. So I'm gonna grab my pouring medium and pour it on. I have my pouring medium, so I'm going to pour this on there. And this is not white, you guys, just in case you are wondering. This is just my pouring medium that I'm adding to preserve the background. And I want to make sure that I have, try to have a pretty thin layer. So I'm going to grab my blow dryer and try to blow out my pouring medium and then we will begin to blow out the color. So here we go. Then 
also making sure that I have enough to be able to blow out the colors, the surrounding colors. So let's go ahead and blow out the surrounding colors and see how this looks. Remember, you guys, this is a pretty big canvas. Maybe blow that out just a little bit more. Okay, so there we go, you guys. As I told you, the white portions that you see in here are going to dry clear and you'll be able to see the background underneath here. I am absolutely satisfied with how this turned out. I do need to blow this portion out over here just a little bit more to make it go off the edge because I wanna make sure that everything is covered. But other than that, you guys, just like the painting that we did, the coral reef painting, I absolutely love this. I am so glad that I went back in with these colors that we use on the spiral board. All the colors, we added in a different color, which is the olive green color. And it turned out really, really beautiful. I cannot wait until this dries so that I can show you guys how the background looks up against the greens that's in there. It's gonna turn out absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring you guys in for the close-up so you can see how this turned out. Come on in. Are you guys ready for the close-up? Me too. And here it is. Look at this area right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, do not worry about the white. That is just our pouring medium. Once it dries, you will no longer see the white. You will see the background color that we pre-painted before. You guys can really see that bronze in there and the copper, of course. I'm glad that I didn't add too much gold so it stands out just enough right there. And then look at this area right here, looking like a branch of a tree. And that's exactly what I want it to happen. And then coming up towards the top right here, I cannot wait until this dries clear so that we can all see exactly how this turned out. Going along with our abstract painting slash acrylic pores that we've been doing. I did a vote. You guys said you wanted to see more of the abstract and the um, acrylic pouring combination. And that is what we did inside of this video right here. Well, I would like to thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure of doing our nature wilderness theme that we've been going along with. You guys, we are in the autumn time. This month is still Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I am going to come on here to be able to do our breast cancer awareness toilet seat. I'm still waiting for my entry, so please go check out this video right here if you want to be entered into the contest to win the Breast Cancer Awareness Toilet Seat. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. As I always say before I sign out, you guys, stay up with me. Number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And number three, no matter what it is in this life that you are personally facing, decide and turn your pain into paintings. Thank you guys so much, and I cannot wait for you guys to see this painting in my next video. Bye.